Hello and thanks for joining me again for another episode of Spaceborn 2. So today we're checking out a new feature that was just added to the game yesterday. Uh, well, it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a video. The last update last week was a few bug fixes which sort of semi-fixed a couple of things. It wasn't really too much to report on. It uh, didn't completely fix a few things. But this latest update, we now have an AI voice assistant on our ships. Now, the it's activated by holding down your F key. But you do need to be in a pilot seat for that. And as you can see, F is our main interaction key. When we're docked at a station, if you hold down F for services so the first thing I recommend that you do hit escape go into your settings go to uh, inputs scroll down here and you've got voice command here okay and I've just changed mine to the little uh, apostrophe on the tilde key above the tab key for me, you can change it to whatever you want, but by default, it's F, and that sort of, uh, you know, conflicts with other things that we use F for. All right, so we're going to jump in, and we are, see, because normally we'd hold down F for services, and as soon as that services tab comes up, well, it's going to disable the, uh, the AI. So, we're going to take off. Okay, so we hold it down and we talk. And if we, before we do that, we can also go in here, we can go to uh, gameplay. You scroll down here and we've got some commands down here. It is an AI, um, similar to like chat GTP, if you've ever used that, uh, but it's not, uh, it's still learning, it's still in development, it's not very, uh, it's not always very accurate, but these are some inbuilt commands that you can tell it to do. So if we hold down our designated key, Open the atlas. Eve, open atlas. There we go. We can set a route here. Now, once these screens are open, we can't use it. It's not having any response. Let's close out of that. Um, activate warp drive. So we can give it a few commands. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. So we can give it a few commands. I don't know how much I'll be using it. I mean, you can, uh, we're in our mothership which doesn't have landing gear, but in your fighters you can toggle your landing gear with it. But, I mean, those sort of things are usually just a quick tap of one button. And to use the AI, we've got to hold down a button and then speak. And sometimes it doesn't always pick up what you're asking it. So, just going to get a bit closer here. Request jump. Request jump. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. So you know that would have been a lot quicker if I just pressed Control H like normal. So we'll cruise on through here. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. Now it would be nice if you could ask it to set a route to a certain system, 
but yeah it doesn't really do that all right so uh we'll jump out i guess and go over to pop in one of our fighters And so one of the things that they have fixed up is having our things unload when we switch out of our, our ships, our consumables. So we've got pod catchers in here still. So we cruise on over to a station. Okay. Request doc. Yes. What kind of documents do you need? No, not documents. Request docking. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please drop to the portal there for you in the next minute. Now, normally I'd hit N for our landing gear. Landing gear deployed. It's that easy. Hit it again to raise it. Toggle landing gear. landing gear deployed. It's quicker and easier just to do it the old way. So it would be nice if you could like get a guided landing with it or some other features. Um, why do you not want to land? Try the other, the other dock here. Oops. All right, landing's being a bit dodgy. There we go. So, yeah, I don't know. It's not that handy a feature, I don't think. Um, now, incidentally, while I was docked in the mothership, I could use it. While I'm docked on my fighter, I can't use Eve. So I guess we'll take off again. Now, you can ask it other things. So, um, it's not always that accurate. Eve, what is the name of our current system? We are currently in the Zonix Air Star system. Eve, what is the name of our current cluster? Eve, what is the name of our current star cluster? Eve, you're ignoring me. Yeah, not much, I don't think. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm here to help you navigate the universe of Spaceburn 2 and provide you with guidance, information, and entertainment. If there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. Weapons online. Uh, sorry. Which, uh, let's have a look here. Is there anything else I can help you with? All right. Where can I find cold? Eve, where can I find cold? Cold can 
usually be found on planets with mineral deposits. You can use your scanner to search for planets with mineral deposits and then fly to that planet to mine the coal. No, not coal. Cold. The character cold. What can you tell me about cold? Eve? Stop ignoring me and please tell me what you know about cold. Yeah, she's giving me the silent treatment. So, I don't know. It needs some work. But, I don't know, I guess it's a fun feature. Now, incidentally, my mothership's gone walkabout. I don't see it anywhere. Um, basically means I'm going to have to save and reload. Let's just head over to the escape route for the moment and see if it uh, appears after we've walked. Nope, still not there. So we'll hit uh, hit escape, chuck down a, a save. And we'll reload. Hit T. There's our mothership there. So see, I mean, I'm used to just pressing these buttons anyway. It's it's uh, it's a lot quicker. So I don't know, maybe a fun feature. It doesn't really seem to help a great deal. Uh, possibly later on when it's a bit more advanced, it will be a bit more helpful with finding quests or finding. Uh, certain things but uh, for the time being uh, that's about it's about all it can really do for us uh, I have tried asking it about uh, I asked it to list all the uh, classes of ships in the game and it just rattled off a list of ships that didn't even exist but there we go uh, so that's just a quick uh, a quick look at the new feature that's going to do it for this episode so if you did enjoy this episode uh, please leave me a like or a comment down below and if you want to see more please hit the subscribe button I will be doing more videos on Starborn 2 uh, but maybe not so much until we get some more updates but uh, in the meantime you know I'm playing a couple of other games but I will be coming back to Stargate, or not Stargate, Starborn, every time, you know, every time we get any, any significant updates and, and anything new that I can show you. If there is anything that I haven't shown in this series that you'd like to see, uh, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I'll uh, see what I can do about doing a video covering those things. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.